221. 221. And that's when a 16-year-old pulls out a gun and fires shots into the chest of Officer David Crawford. So now we've lost Yazowitz, Bates, uh, uh, Tom Bainger, and David Crawford within four weeks. And I'll never forget the length that, that she called me. And the first words out of his mouth, Mayor, it's happened again. And so we, we go through these, all these emotions, once again, all of these, these trigger points, once again. So yesterday at the police station, we had a moment of silence and a memorial tribute to Yaz and Tom. And we'll do it again at 10.30 at night on February the 21st. But this department has survived. We learned a lot out of all of these experiences. We've added some training. We've added some equipment. Thanks to the city council and all of their support. We are a stronger department. And more resilient than ever. But when you see these officers on the street and you get get annoyed if you ever get pulled over. I know nobody in here gets pulled over. I know that. <laughs> but just understand that they don't know who you are. And it doesn't matter how nice your car is or how clean your windows are. They don't know anything about you. They just know that you were speeding. You went through too fast in a school zone. You made an illegal turn. Something. So if they're a little edgy, Cut some slack. We do, we do demand respect and courtesy and all of the above. And they have performed at a very high level. But the stresses on our police department and our firefighters are with them every single moment of every single day. They don't get to have a bad day. We do. We can have a bad day and pull our hair out, but they don't get that. So 2011 started rough, but as a city with all of our departments and the city council and every employee coming together, we had some great highlights. We opened the Dolly Museum in early January. We, together with a partnership with Sheriff Bob Volteri and Jim Coates' predecessor and the state attorney, the public defender, uh, the chief judge, Tom Grady, the Nellis County Board of County Commission, Ken Walsh was huge on this. We opened up this wonderful thing called the Vanilla Safe Harbor. And we know it's not perfect, and we know it's just a portal, and we know that we need to support Vanilla Spoke through Catholic Charities and them and all of these other release agencies, because you can't just keep cramming people into the portal. But that was a good start. And our chronic homeless numbers in downtown went from over 300 every single night, and at last count, we had 20. And that's city law. So, thanks to you, we made tremendous strides in that. And it's all about care and compassion. And it's not like it's, you know, sometimes people think it's this mindset you're just hurting people. And no, we want to see real transformational lives. We want people to get that case management. We want people to receive the benefits of a good meal and proper hygiene, a shower, a real toilet, and a shelter. And what we found was, if you take away, or if you actually provide these things, like a good night's sleep and a safe environment, proper hygiene, proper, proper nutrition, you're able to better combat their demons that put them on the street to begin. Whether it's alcohol, substance abuse, self-medication, they're able to fight their demons. And then they go through the case management, and we, they, they have access to vocational training. I was there two days ago. Uh, then a young man, he was, he, was, he was scurrying out, and he recognized me, and he said, I don't want to be late for the bus because I'm going to P-Tech because I'm enrolled in a welding class, and I can't wait to get a job as a welder, but I wanted to thank you. And I said, don't thank me because there's a lot of people that are behind you. So get to class. And here's my card. And when you get that welding certificate, you give me a call. Because I want to congratulate you. And that's just one of hundreds of stories that we're seeing out of the safe harbor. 
44 UCRs crime was down in the city of St. Petersburg, 7.5%. And as you all read in the paper, school grades went up. Thank God.